Police say four juveniles, one of them as young as 11, are responsible for committing even more crimes than investigators first thought. Yeah, the group of young juveniles are accused of stealing cars, attempting to rob and carjack people before two of the suspects were shot by a would-be victim. Natasha Robin reports. Police say four juveniles accused of going on a crime spree Sunday across Gentilly are now linked to additional crimes. Two of them, a 13-year-old and an 11-year-old, ended up in the hospital when investigators say a man they attempted to rob at gunpoint pulled out his own gun and started shooting. They approached him, and when they approached him, they had some words and everything. Then out the blue, I think, if I'm not mistaken, the, the young man tried to rob him, and that's when he defended himself by shooting back. The 13 and 11-year-olds were shot in the leg. Police say they jumped back into a getaway vehicle and then crashed. Came out, looked down the street, seen an automobile coming down the street, hit, hit a tree, then it hit this light pole right here. Uh, four young men jumped out, ran down the street. Police captured all four a couple of blocks away, but detectives say their crime spree started at 1245 Sunday morning when they're accused of stealing a car on Paris Avenue. Then another car on Wisteria. Then another car on Press Drive. From there, police say the young gunman committed an attempted robbery in the 2400 block of J Street and then an armed carjacking in the 6400 block of Painter Street. Before, they say they ended up here on Eastern Street. In this neighborhood, I usually don't have any crime or anything. But uh, this is how the city going right now. is pretty much all over the city. People who live in the area are fed up and believe juvenile crime is out of control. Their frustration comes as the Louisiana legislature decides whether or not to pass a bill that would make juvenile criminal records more available to the public. So the names of juveniles who have committed heinous crimes has been kept under the cloak of confidentiality to protect the name of the young offender without any regard for protecting the community from the wrath of violent crimes. Representative Debbie Villio's bill would compile names and other information of violent and juvenile offenders in a database that the public could access. I was the 14th victim out of 14 uh, that they had been on a crime spree for for about 48 hours. The individuals involved were 12, 13, 14, 15, and 19. Where were the parents? Victims testified about why they say they want transparency. We received a call from NOAA's ADA asking for us to consider a plea deal. How can we make an informed decision without understanding the scope of his entire record? The bill passed through committee and is now headed to the House floor. People who live in the Gentilly neighborhood where police say the four juveniles struck over the weekend say something must be done. That's the problem that I'm having there. We as adults have to protect ourselves from young kids that really don't have the knowledge to know what they're doing is wrong. They just don't, they don't have the knowledge. They, they're not being taught right. Meanwhile, the NOPD says it will continue to investigate the juveniles accused of committing the crime spree to determine if they may be responsible for any other crimes. In New Orleans, Natasha Robin, Fox 8, Local First. The bill applies to three cities, New Orleans, Baton Rouge, and Shreveport. The juvenile's violent criminal history would be available to anyone in the state. Some critics question why the bill only applies to three predominantly African-American communities. Representative Villio says her proposal is about public safety in those cities have some of the highest crime rates in the country.